Welcome back to Stamping at the Warren and I'm Kim Tolton and today I have this card for you. Um, it is the um, Sky's the Limit or is it Soaring High? Hmm, Sky's the Limit, I was right first time. Um, so the Sky's the Limit um, stamp set with this beautiful biplane and um, I've combined it up with the world map and I'm using it over the top I'm actually using the um, perfectly artistic designer series set paper so both the stamp set and the paper I'm using is celebration um, so it's exclusive during the celebration promotion and um, you have to put in a qualifying order which means a £45 order excluding VAT and postage um, so for every £45 you collect in that way in terms of your order then you will qualify for one free celebration project product now I have gone for this one um, today because I just love it my son will adore it um, I'm going to be using a variation of this card for his birthday um, he is a fully fledged glider pilot um, and he has also flown um, trainer jets with the um, RAF um, on the airbase in Malta and he's done loop the loops and all sorts of things so proud of him he's achieved so much so proud of all four of our children really um, without question but uh, yeah so I, I admire him for his flair for taking risks for a, somebody who's quite nervous type of chap um, you know when he's got a passion for something my goodness does he go for it and oh I wonder where he gets that from mm, maybe my side of the family um, so anyway that's what we're doing today um, and I've given it this sort of grungy feel because it is being used for a masculine card there's no reason why it would have to be a masculine card at all it could be unisex completely but you just might change some of the colour schemes so this is what we're doing today I'm going to pop that to one side the first job as always is to make your card base so thicker whisper white card stocks uh, trimmed to 21 centimeters by 14.8 centimeters scored through the center of that long side at 10.5 centimeters fold so that ridge is inside your card and then burnish with your bone folder so that that's a nice fold and next you're going to trim a piece of the soaring high um, it's not soaring high piece of the perfectly artistic designer series paper and this one is trimmed to 14 14 centimeters by four centimeters and then I've got an, another strip which is whisper white um, whisper white oh my goodness my words are everywhere um, it's I think that's tip top top and that has been trimmed to 14 centimetres by 6 centimetres wide and we are going to be tearing bits of this off and uh, grunging it up a little bit so the first job is to stamp your plane up in this blue section and I'm using chocolate chip for that both stamp sets we're using today I've got in wood mount just purely because I use the world map an awful lot I use it for particularly my scrapbooking classes but in general it's just a really well used stamp and um, and I know that this stamp set will stay with me indefinitely just because of the link with my son and his love of aviation so you just want to stamp this wherever you want you can put it at an angle if you want I'm going to put it at a slight angle this time and up and there is your biplane and then on the brown the neutral colour you're going to use the world map stamp set 
obviously if you've got clear mount you need to mount it on the largest acrylic block um, which I think is, is it F? It's G or F I think. So you want the largest acrylic block because this is a full C6 A6 card size. And you will find, because we want the cardstock in landscape orientation, you won't quite get all the way along. So you're going to use first and second generation stamping to stamp this. So once there, bring up without re-inking, stamp again. And there you have the world map. So we'll pop those there. And then the final bit of stamping is the little loopy loopy bit. It says it's gone and done the loop the loop. And let's do it with a little love heart, shall we? There you go, lovely little loopy loop. And the sky the limit, just onto a scrap of whisper white cardstock, which I did have here. There it is. And that just stamp that on. Ugh, look, rubbish. I was so careful as well, wasn't I? That's better. And that is all the stamping done. So we can punch this out. And then we have a bit of fun with the grunging. And I'm using the decorative label punch here to punch this out. And now we can bring in the um, Sahara Sand ink pad and we're going to just fairly gently you don't want to rip too much off but you just want to distress these edges take your time you can use um, a distressing tool if you want my fingers work fine for me and then you're going to do the same around the edge here and this edge and the bottom edge and we're matting this onto um, a piece of crumb cake cardstock so it doesn't matter the fact that we're losing a little bit of card or paper these ends are going to curl a bit as just get rid of these bits they're going to curl as we distress them so a piece of stamping sponge I've cut mine into wedges of six so get some ink on your sponge and actually the first before we do that you just want to um, grunge up just the bottom edge of this a little bit these two pieces of paper are going to overlap one another and then the decorative label creates a shadow on the card so it adds a bit of interest okay right so inky up time Sahara sand great colour for distressing it's a bit like the another well known does a tea dye um, distressing ink but you actually with stamping up stamps you really do not need special distressing inks just their standard inks will do just fine and if you add in um, things like Cajun Craze which is very much like something called Rusty Nail 
or Rusty Hinge, I believe it's called. So there are inks in Stampin' Up's repertoire that will mimic pretty much the colour of anything that um, other companies do. So the benefit for me is Stampin' Up, everything is coordinated. It's coordinated into colour collections, making it easy. And I only have to shop in one place for the majority of my craft supplies. It's just silly little things like little um, wobble things that you can put on that make little characters wobble around on your card. Great for kids' cards and that sort of thing. Um, those, those kind of things I have to do a bit of a search for elsewhere but generally speaking everything I need is in Stumping Up. And then the blue we're going to do exactly the same. And just by inking up the edges and allowing those edges to roll, which they will do naturally as you uh, grunge them up, and they create their own shadows as well. So these shadows, just with something so pale in, in colour as um, Sahara Sand, which is a, a really pale neutral tone, um, and yet it can create some really beautiful effects when you sponge using it as you can probably and hopefully see here you obviously don't want to be so overzealous that you're causing the cardstock to break um, but you do want those edges to be curling and looking like they're aged. There we go. Right. So this is your um, piece of crumb cake cardstock, which measures fourteen point four by ten point one centimeters. And just using a piece of fast fuse. I'm going to pop down the world map section of this card. Just making sure all your borders are nice and even. And then you'll see that your sky then overlaps up here. Yeah. Like that. So, a bit more fast fuse. And there's a huge selection of different papers in this um, free design series paper pack. It's beautiful. Make sure you get your plane the right way up. And a little bit more, I just want to. And down that goes. And even though it's two dimensional, it will create a three dimensional image. And I'm just going to finish by getting a bit of mint, mint macron. Or mm -mm. I think I'm going to go with the soft sky ink if I can find it it's all been moved around so I always store mine in my uh, colour caddy and there it is so just ink that up and don't go mad just add a bit of blue around the edges just to tie everything in nicely If you want a very fine line, then sponge daubers, finger daubers are probably better. If you want a bit more showing, then a, a wedge of sponge is better. Right, that's that. Pop some stamping dimensionals on the back of here. Four. 
am I a count I'm a counter. How many other people out there are counters? I count everything. I count my vegetables going in the shopping trolley and I count them onto the conveyor belt and then I can count them as they go back into my bags. Oh, it's all a bit sad really. Right, pop your sentiment down wherever you would like it. Bring your card base in. A couple of strips of fast fuse. Make sure your opening is in the right place and that you're not putting your card blank down on wet ink. Nothing more unsightly than splodges of ink where there shouldn't be splodges. That goes down. And there is today's card. So I hope you like that. And um, I'll see you again tomorrow for another project. And I think we're back to weddings tomorrow. And... Um, I'll see you then. Ta-ta for now. It's been lovely talking to you. Remember, leave comments in the comment section and follow all of my social media um, accounts which are in the show more section. I'll see you tomorrow. Ta-ta for now.